This is the story about the women in the fishing communities of Oriental Mindoro in the Philippines. Climate change is a reality that affects rural coastal communities and is increasing poverty among these areas. And the most burdened of all in these communities are the women. So how come are they the most burdened? The effects of climate change are actually increased um, temperature, the rising waters, and uh, this is being felt by the fishers in Oriental Mindoro. Malaking bawas talaga. Hindi ka tulad nung na kahit anong oras pwede kang lalabas dyan. Paglabas mo, may mahuli ka kagad. Eh ngayon kahit ano, <laughs> minsan wala. Ito niya po dito sa komunidad na to. Ay ang, ang hanap buhay po ng halos taga rito. Pangisda. Sa dagat ko talaga umaasa. Eh, katulad nga po nitong nagdaang bagyo, halos isang linggo po. Isang linggo po, pahinaan na na po. Fishermen, fisher households, where we conducted the study in Oriental Mindoro, um, have bigger families. So, they are even above the, the average family members of four. They go as many as having seven children. And um, fishers being the most vulnerable, uh, partly because they're also the poorest of the poor, dependent on the coastal resources, are most affected by climate change because of the decreased um, fish that they get uh, and that they catch. Uh, which is the main source of food and livelihood of the fisher households. <coughs> Kung dati ho, ay nakakadalawang, nakakadalawang puno sila ng dosyentusa na ano, sa dayo. Dayo po yun sa Occidental. Ngayon ho, eh, mahirap na nga makaisa. Kulanging isa lagi ang nahuhuli nila. Tapos, um, ano, Yung marami pa. Dito kasi hindi na pwedeng pumana. Pag pumana ka sa... May, may binibigay din naman po silang lugar na pwedeng panaan. Ang kaso lang, sa dami ng mamamana, kung doot doon din lang po, wala na, talagang wala nang mahuhuli. Halos wala nang mabalansi pagka ganun. Kaya nadayo sila sa ibang lugar. The women usually um, help their husbands. They are the ones who sell. They're usually at home, they do other jobs like um, they do nipa weaving. Uh, itong pawid namin ay 260 ang isa, 3 feet. Yun naman 4 feet ay nasa 320 ang isang peraso. Ang paggagawa naman, ang bayad sa kanila ay as in 74 cents lang, centavos, yun. Kataasan na yung nakaka-100 sila nito. Kababaan yung 40 lang ang yari nila. The increase of population has also affected their livelihoods as more fishermen increase more competition in the area. And with less fish, families growing by the number have a hard time coping with their needs. And due to climate change and its effects on the ocean, the spaces where the fishers live are also compromised by the growing population and increasing tides. It means to say that with 
with the number of families and more families in the village, there is going to be a challenge in terms of their livelihood and their homes. Halos kulang na po yung space, wala nang matayuan. Katulad namin, kailangan na namin makitirig sa ibang lupa. With population growth in rural areas, the need for the awareness on sexual health among these areas are a necessity. With less fish coming in causing less income, families are not able to provide for their children's needs, including their education. In return, their children end up with the same hardship that their parents have gone through, taking over the same jobs, leaving the community in a continuous vicious cycle that wouldn't be sustainable in the future. They recognize that there are gaps to sexual and reproductive health uh, and their expression of the need for um, family planning is to meet the unmet need of women and adolescents and men in the fishers, fishing communities, who would actually need the services to be able to plan their families and that pertains to responsible parenthood and be able to address unwanted pregnancies and uh, teenage pregnancies, which apparently is common in, in fishing, in these fishing communities. Head ng pamilya. May yun ang yun ang agawin nun. Siyempre, magunggawa ng bata. This is Hobita. She lives in an isolated area in the middle of an estuary. She cannot afford to work because she has been taking care of her eight children. Hindi ako ngayon makapamawid, madam. Ano, may bata. This is Mylene. She also has eight children. She has been working while also taking care of her family. She said that she doesn't even have time to comb her hair. Isang beses lang po nakakapahinga. <laughs> Pagpahapon po ganito, pahinga na po kami. Uh. Ay ako po. Yun po, nagpipos po ako para ngayon. Kung po, baka po hindi na masundan sana ulit yung aking <laughs> bata. <laughs> The women also told us that family planning was more of an effort from the mothers, as options for male contraceptives are not widely accepted. There are also fears and misconceptions in family planning that prevent women from applying its methods. Parang ayoko din niya po nung magpalaygit dahil sabi nga ay ako'y lalaygitan ay parang takot po ako dahil dito nga po marami akong anak na nagbubuhat pa rin po ako hindi ko may iwasang magbubuhat sabi po ay bawal daw yun magbuhat hindi ko naman sa karamihan niya po ng anak ko hindi ko rin po may iwasang hindi ako magbubuhat lalo po pag sila nasa school siyempre ako po ang gagawa sa bahay sa akin kasi bilang babae pagka ako nat yung wala na akong karapatan na ano parang wala nang halaga yung pagkababae ko pagka pinutol na yun pitiuputol doon eh may ginugupit they have also recognized that they had control over their sexual needs in contrast to their husbands. The women identify that they need to be healthy. 
to be able to take care of their families, to be able to take care of, of themselves, and be able to do um, jobs that will also contribute to taking care of the resources. Ang provincial government, kinakapacitate namin yung women in the coastal area to participate in the programs, projects, or activities addressing climate change. So women yung aming uh, katulong sa paghalimbawa uh, mangrove planting or yung uh, coastal cleanup. They recognize that the natural resources and the marine, the coastal resources where they live in, um, are the ones that take care of them. And for them to be able to take care of it, they need to be healthy. They have identified that they should have stable job, um, they need to have access to health services, they need to have uh, access to uh, sexual and reproductive health services when they need it um, in those in those villages. Kailangan na rin para masig pagplano matutukan yung paglaki ng mga bata at mabigyan ng magandang edukasyon. Kasi kami, palis na kami sa mundo. Wala pa kami. <laughs> Hindi kami nakatapos ng pag-aaral. Ibig sabihin, yung mga anak namin, maiba naman kumpara sa amin. Mabigyan namin sila ng magandang buhay. Matapos sila, makatapos ng pag-aaral na hindi sila na katulad namin na dito rin lang. Their main concern and their main core um, value is their hope to have a better future for their children. Food on the table on a daily basis. Um, education for their children. But those things cannot be reached if the other root factors like poverty, lack of, lack of work, lack of um, or poor health, poor access to health services will not be addressed. So those are the ones that uh, that has been very striking, the in interrelationship and the recognition that ad addressing um, the sexual and reproductive health rights, addressing the health perspective, and um, conserving biodiversity are key for them to be able to achieve their vision. The women of these fishing villages are the light of their homes. A call for action to tackle climate change by improving the status of women and building on their capacity as managers and carers of their family can transform a community towards climate change resiliency and give hope for the coming generations.